and 2019 uh, Tom Botts Mizzou Tom Botts Invitational with Grace Brighton, the let's see, redshirt junior. Uh, just regular junior. Just junior for outdoors uh, for Missouri State Lady Bears, Coach Fife and uh, the Lafayette grad and former soccer and uh, and distance runner. Tell me. Let's see. So all state, your let's see, sophomore year, we yes. in cross country mm -hmm. at, at Lafayette, twenty second or so. Yes. And then didn't come out your 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 sophomore <laughs> yeah. your junior year, and then we're on that amazing uh, state championship team. What your senior year? Thank you. Yes. yes. Um, with what eleventh or twelfth place yeah. in cross country? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what was what was what brought you back to, to running and, and leaving soccer behind um, your senior year? Truly, I just like got burnt out of yeah. playing soccer, and so I feel like that actually happens kind of commonly with runners, but. Um, Really enjoyed it my sophomore year, and so I just wanted to go back to it. And I knew I wanted to do a sport in college. I wasn't sure which one, but sure. I had some um, experience with running, so I just stuck with it. So cool, cool. And then now you're having success with the uh, with Lady Bears down in Springfield. A big, big win tonight, 17:22. Thank you. 5K, you and uh, teammate Erica Wolmarine and, and Hannah Pearson, the former Marquette. Uh, rival of uh, SLU uh, did a, had a great battle, and and you come out on top with a uh, what we think about a a, uh, a track PR of well 17:46 is what mm -hmm. TF T, uh, T first says. But uh, um, just tell me, did you think you were ready to run run that, and and tell me how the race played out? Yeah, um, it was really fun racing with uh, Erica and Hannah because I mean Erica's my teammate obviously, sure. and so that's awesome. I get to train with her, and she's one of my best friends on and off the track, so that's really cool. And then Hannah. Um, went to I guess rival high schools You're but right. not really like we um, we weren't super close in high school just because I didn't really run in high school um, but once I came to college it's kind of weird we became close that way and so yeah. um, it was really cool running with her too because we sometimes meet up for long runs when we're home and things cool. like that so that was really fun um, but yeah in terms of like times and stuff I wasn't super focused on time I just tried to go out there and have fun and compete um, and I knew I was capable of you know trying to get into like the low 17 17 20 17s. Sure. um but i wasn't sure just because in cross i haven't had like a really good 5k in a while and so it felt good to just come out here and um, run a similar time that i did in cross yeah 17 22 something but uh um and even there you and, and and erica were pretty much leading most of the first half and then maybe three quarters of the way you slipped and Hannah, Hannah kind of pushed the pace on, mm -hmm. gapped you guys a little bit and you yeah. were able to come back strong. Tell me about those last mile or so of the race. Yeah, um, I mean the 5K is just a really tough mental race. Sure. Um, so I'm super glad that I had them. Um, and yeah, I just, I tried as hard as I could just to stay with them in the middle because I'm confident in my kick and so I just knew I had to stay with them during that time and then sure. hopefully just in the end just try to give it all I have. So. And what did it like feeling pulling away that last maybe two laps or 600 meters or so? Um, I mean physically it didn't feel great yeah. but um, I knew I had to make a move if I wanted a, a decent time and so I just tried the best I could to pull away. So. And I think on the Valley, the Missouri Valley Conference list, that puts you about second or third. Uh, um, does that give you confidence going into co to Drake Relays next week and yeah, then conference, co yeah, conference in two weeks, three weeks? Um, at Drake, I'll run the Steeple, and okay. so I'm excited about that. Um, I haven't run too many 5Ks in my track career, um, so it felt good to get out there again and have sure. just like the endurance under my belt. And so uh, I'll probably end up doubling at, at conference and do the 5K, and so okay. I'm excited about that, and that's sure. just one that you know, just compete and the time will come. So I'm excited for that. Right, What? when did you, did you take up the steeple your freshman year? Yeah, the, towards the end of my freshman year. And tell me what, what that challenge is like and, <laughs> and uh, how long did it take you to hate it, to enjoy it and want to keep yeah, doing it? Yeah, um, it's still, I mean, it, it's a really challenging race, but um, I like it. It's almost like an obstacle course. And so for that reason, yeah. I, I like it a lot. Um, but I just started my freshman year kind of because we like needed someone and to do it at, at the conference meet. Sure. And so I started it that way and um, have had a little bit of, of success with it and so just stuck with it and now it's kind of one of my main events, I guess you could say. Well, and Coach Fife put you through a brutal two, <laughs> two weeks ago here. You, get, you ran about four or five laps of the steeple uh, mm -hmm. just to get some steeple uh, barrier work yeah. in and the water jumps in and mm -hmm. then you go run and run what about 11.07 or so yeah. at Arkansas yeah, to, was, oh, last week? That was a rough race. Yeah. Um, it was really rough, but I'm glad, you know, at, at Mizzou to have those, whatever, it was a 1500, so to have the 1500 and we tried to pace it for a 10.30, which is 
what we think I, I could do about, sure. um, and so tried to just relax and, and run, uh, I think it was like a 515 on the dot, 15 at Mizzou, and then um, Arkansas was just really rough. Well, first of um, all, yeah, he had you run about four or five laps of the steeple, yeah. pull off, and then about 20 or 30 minutes later, then run the 1500 yeah. open, so. Mm -hmm. um, but, the Ar I mean, at Arkansas, it's always good just to have a full race sure. under my belt, and so, you know, it, it, was just a, it was just a rough day, but I'll bounce back, so. I'm excited for that. And is that your favorite event now to compete in, or do you like probably the 1505? Outdoor. Yeah. Um, pro yeah, probably outdoor. I like the steeple the best. But And what kind of shape, or if you got a goal that you want to share publicly, where, where you'd like to by conference three weeks to get yeah. in the steeple? Um, I mean, time-wise, I'd like to be around 1030. I think it's sure. very doable, but... Um, just depends on the pace. Yeah, it just depends how. on, and yeah, it's just like with competition and stuff at Drake, I don't know how it'll play out, and same with that conference. I don't know who will try to take it and what pace they'll sure. go out at, so we'll see. And then lastly, I think last year at Drake, uh, you and your four or five teammates that made the trip up there were, I think, around to see uh, Jenny Barringer Simpson's mm -hmm. uh, two-mile American record yeah. and got a selfie with her, to, <laughs> if, if I remember correctly. What was that like? Yeah, no, that was amazing. Um, she's super sweet, super humble, um, really an inspirational runner, and so it was really cool um, getting to meet her and getting to take a picture with her, and it was awesome just to, to watch her race because she's super strong, and um, yeah, it was just it was an incredible experience. And for high school athletes that are, you know, thinking about maybe running in college or, yeah. or being a college athlete, what's, what's your... Now three in, three years into your college experience, what's thoughts and advice on with with girls that are running now? Yeah, um, if you love it, stick with it. Um, it. You know, it doesn't matter if you're fast now, if you're slow now, whatever you're considered to be. Just if you love it, definitely stay with it because it's worth it, and it'll be hard and it'll be challenging, but you should do it <laughs> if yeah. you're thinking about it. Well, Grace, thanks for the time. Thank uh, you. Congrats and good luck in at, uh, the Steeple and Drake next week, and then three weeks of conference at India State. Appreciate Thank you the time. so much. Thank you.